everyone, this is Michelle, and I decided to um, do a little mini tutorial series about Cricut Design Space, and in particular, the five functions that you will find under your layers panel for how to manipulate your images. And I decided to do this, and I know there's a lot of videos very similar to this, um, but I, I keep seeing in um, a couple of different Facebook groups about Cricut and about Design Space, people that are posting kind of panicked um, posts and need um, advice on why isn't this project turning out the way I wanted it to, why isn't it doing what I thought it was going to do. And um, so I see these issues that people are having, and then I see the responses and the uh, quote, advice that people have and there's a lot of great people in there so I'm not putting anybody down but I think that through the advice a lot of people are not giving the correct advice uh, so there's I think a lot of people that use design space that maybe just aren't fully aware of what each of these functions actually do when they're appropriate to use when they're not appropriate to use and those types of things so I just decided to do kind of a mini tutorial that also includes some um, like some information. So it's going to have these little um, tutorials that will help demonstrate the use and the purpose of each of these buttons. So I'm going to probably do one video per uh, function. And uh, so today we're going to start with Slice, the first one here. So Slice is essentially, if I kind of hover over it, you'll see that it says um, split two overlapping layers into parts. So that's exactly what it does. Um, it is, I'm going to make some text here because I'm going to create something that is a very popular thing right now. And it is the split monograms that you'll see people make. I'll pull up some examples here in the background here. These split monograms, these are a little more fancy than what I'm doing. I'm just going to kind of show you the basics. but. So it has a letter, but then it has this chunk cut out of it so that you have space to write maybe your name or something within um, that space. So we can easily create our own through design space. So um, one key thing to slicing is that you can only slice two layers at a time. Um, if you have a design like right now, okay, this is actually technically a single layer, but over here in the layers panel, it looks like there's two, but there's actually this um, kind of border um, that is hidden. So if I were to unhide it, it now is actually two layers, and I could slice these two together. I could highlight this all, or let me just select all. Um, let me un ungroup first, select all, and now slice. They can't be grouped together. Um, so then I could technically slice these two layers out of each other because right now, let me click, right now there's they're two separate. Um, but if for some reason I wanted to let's select all, um, cut and make a hole in the background so you just have the outline of the turquoise. I could do that by hitting my slice function. And now it looks like the turquoise or the maroon went away and the turquoise is all that's left, but actually the maroon is still here in the sidebar. It's, it's in the background because what this is now showing us is our new cut line. It's basically like a cookie cutter. We've just taken a slice of where the, the cut lines of that maroon M were and we've sliced it out of the turquoise and so that always ends up with at least three layers after that. So now we've got three separate layers and this could be, you know, that kind of looks like um, a school mascot logo or something like that. So um, that's something you can do um, if you have a font that has kind of those two layers and it has you can just create an outside um, layer of that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these here to continue on with the split monogram part. So how we're another way we can do this is by using um, a new shape. So I'm going to bring in a square 
And I'm going to unlock it so that I can switch up the dimensions and just make kind of a long rectangle. And then we're going to put that rectangle where we want it within the M or whatever letter to make it work. So, okay, that's good enough. So I'm going to select everything. And when I hit slice, it's just going to slice every place that these two are overlapping each other is going to slice a section out of that. So we're going to hit slice. And what we're left with, again, it kind of looks like that gray went to the background. Um, it went behind, and all it's doing is kind of slicing right through it. So now we're left with the M that we wanted. So I'm going to get rid of these. I'm just going to go over here to the control, the um, panel and I'm just gonna hit my I'm on a Mac so I'm gonna hit my command button and individually click each one if you were on a PC you'd hit your control click and then I can either hit delete down here or delete on my keyboard I'll just hit delete and get rid of all those okay so that's the beginnings of our monogram but you'll notice oops, um, that they have kind of this bar on the top and the bottom so we can just insert a shape um, of a, another rectangle and make it kind of skinny. And I, I'm going to continue on with that, but I'm going to do that in the next video where I talk about weld. So I'm just going to kind of move that to the side because I want to show a couple other functions of the slice. So one thing that's kind of nice with slice is it can almost act like a, um, like a delete button, I guess. Um, like for example, I was trying to make uh, something the other day and I wanted to use these arrows. And so I've picked out this set of arrows and insert that. But I really only wanted one of these. I liked this one here on the um, left, but didn't really want the one on the right. But you'll notice over here, um, they're not a group. That's all one single group. I could go to contour and hide one of them. And I can show that to you later. Um, that's what contour does. I could hide one of those layers, but the other thing I could have done, let me go turn it back on. If for some reason you had a design that didn't have a contour option is I can just insert another shape, cover up the area that I don't want, just make a big square. Um, again, we'll kind of hit our command and click Click. Oops, it's got both of them. So let's do this. Shift click. There we go. Um, and then hit slice. And now we're left with all of these layers that we can actually just get rid of. So get rid of these, get rid of those. And now we've got just the single arrow by itself. So that's um, something that slice can do uh, as well. That's kind of nice. Um, the last thing, which I think is kind of the coolest, <clears throat> excuse me, is we can create textures within a shape. Um, and by that I mean I'm going to go to uh, my image and you can either do textures through here or if you've got like um, maybe a chevron pattern or something that you want to upload, you can do that. But here in Cricut Access we've got um, all of these different um, textures and I'm actually going to look for something that's kind of um, lacy. So I'm going to use this. So th another project that's been very popular that I see a lot are people doing different um, maybe wedding invitations or other cards that um, you've got two sides that have this kind of lacy lattice that you fold in on each other and they kind of vaguely cover up the invitation that sits within the middle of a card. So I'm going to kind of recreate that here by inserting a square. And I could pull up a card um, from the, um, you know, Cricut Access project, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do it like this to make it a little bit quicker and easier. So what we can do here let me move this to the front and then I'm going to change the color of this to be a little easier to see. Let's do like this light blue. There we go. 
So what I can do is I'm going to put this just kind of partially on the edge. Let me make this a little bit bigger though. And I want to kind of split this in half. So I'm going to try to put this right along that kind of center section where it's kind of two of the same thing side by side. And I'm going to hold shift and click the box. I'm going to align these just so that they're, um, it's right in the middle. So I've got these two layers combined. Now I'm going to hit my slice. Okay, and then this will be now cut off and kind of by itself and I can move this, let me bring that to the front. Now I can move this down to the other end, right on the end. And again, I'm gonna kind of hold shift and click, align these vertically, and then slice these two. Um, slice takes a little while if it's an intricate cut. So now I have these little lace pieces that I can use. Uh, look at all of these lace pieces that you can use to decorate other things and now you're left with this little card that looks like what I was talking about where um, you know you would put your actual invitation here in the middle Maybe you could put some score lines here just along the sides and then these two would fold in to kind of partially cover the middle of where your invitation is here. And I see people kind of um, will tie it up with like a ribbon and it's real pretty. So that's kind of a really fun um, feature of Slice is that you can um, not only cut these little segments out but then you end up with all of these fun other little pieces to decorate with and um, so that's a really fun feature. I'm going to do just one more if I've got time. I can't tell how long my timer is, so I may be just about out of time, but I'm just going to do kind of a simple shape and a simple pattern to just kind of show you the same little texture. Um, let's just do like this herringbone or something. So we can put this herringbone over top of that heart and then hold my command and click. Highlight those too. It's hard to... There, I've got them both. Okay, we'll slice. And this is going to look real pretty. Like you could do a card like this where you've got all of these different segments where you've got a whole new pattern cut out and you've got about four different segments to choose from along with this kind of cut out heart. So that's just a cool way to add texture um, and a whole new design to a simple shape by using your slice tool. So. Um, I think that about covers the slice. So in my next video, I'm going to move on to weld and I'm going to kind of build on some of these concepts here. So stay tuned for part two.